Hi, it's Andrea from DIY Supplies. Welcome. In this video, you're going to learn how to use our rub-on transfers in just two minutes. First, just pick out a small transfer on our website. What's great about the transfers is you just use what parts you need and you can save the rest for another project. So just use an ordinary pair of scissors and cut out the designs you'd like on your transfer and put the others aside for another day. Next, plan your placement. So plan where you'd like to place your transfers before you pull the backs off. When you're ready to peel the back off, just do it one piece at a time and place your transfer down exactly where you want it and burnish it. Once you have your first transfer down, you just basically peel and repeat with all your remaining transfers. You can use as many or as little as you'd like. So just make sure you burnish them really well and when you're peeling back the top layer, make sure the transfers adhere to your surface. If it's not sticking, don't pull the transfer right off, put it back down and burnish it more. The very last step is to protect your transfer. To protect your transfer, we really suggest that you apply a thin clear coat of a clear coat or gator hide over top of your applied transfer with an application sponge. You can use flat, you can use satin, you can use gloss, you can use gator hide, whatever you want, but this will definitely add to the life of the transfer. It also softens any of the gluey like edges that the transfer has and when it's dry it'll look like it's hand painted. Well thanks very much for watching. I was so happy with how cute the saw turned out. It was a little antique saw and now it's a bit of uh, farmhouse decor. So thanks for watching and have a great day.